So what brain means to me is, well, there's lots of things that come to mind. Um, you know, as Asian Americans, like growing up, going to school, we're conditioned to succeed academically, like really excel in that. So I think when we're younger, it's a really small like definition of brain, like being smart and getting good grades and going to a good college. But I think as we get older, we understand that the brain has so much more to offer us. Um, like, the brain will tell you to be kind to yourself, tell yourself nice things, don't be so hard on yourself, give yourself grace. Um, the brain will also act as a creative outlet um, for you to express yourself outside of that tiny box that you grew up in. And yeah, the brain is a, is a powerful thing and it uh, takes you places. <laughs> All right, so when I think of heart, I think of, of empathy, I think of love, care, understanding of each other, and um, making tough decisions. Even though it hurts the heart, you know it's for the best because you love someone else, you know, things like that. That's what I think about when I think of heart. I also think of chicken hearts, one of my favorite proteins as well. Um, it's pretty cheap, you can find that at H-Mart. Um, Good in iron, but pretty high in calories. Uh, I'm sorry, not calories, cholesterol. Um, but that's what I think about when I think of heart. So, courage to me means um, the bravery to live as yourself, to understand the space you take up in the world and view it and not be afraid of it. And um, I deeply admire people who are able to to do that, to be able to live as themselves fully and to not care and to not be afraid of being seen. And that's what courage means to me. May the Tran, the age of 23, I'll be 24 next month. Um, the people who I hold very dear to me are probably some of the most courageous people I know because they are so, they just don't care about what the world thinks of them and they don't care about being seen and being that vulnerable and that's that's a big thing for me like just the, the fear of being seen and being known and being exposed and being judged for what you are without the layers of persona they put on yourself like you as your core self and that I um and the people who can do that the people I know and love who can do that they're the best people I know and um and the people who can't do that, you're still pretty good. Don't forget that. What does home mean to me? This is actually something I've been thinking about for a while, and um, home to me isn't necessarily a place that is physical. You know, like you go home. I mean, I guess that technically is true for some people. And technically it's true for me too, because like a home base. Um, hi, home base homies. Um, I think for me, home is a sense of comfort like a place where you know where you are, but then also you have a feeling of like people care about you and you care about people. And that is truly a nice feeling. And I think home is wherever feeling you get. Well, home is essentially, if you feel good, that's probably your home with some caveats. Like if you feel good and you're eating and you're at a restaurant, that could be home because food is good. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, that's okay, you can leave this in. What is home? Home is, is a good place to be. So it's either like somewhere you're centered or you just feel grounded and you love where you're at and the people that are around you or if you're by yourself, the universe loves you. And that's what home is.